Hi, I'm Chris Shattuck with buildamodule.com, and we're going to talk about securing your module. So to start out with, I want to say that when it comes to securing your module, you don't have to be an expert. So there are a few core things that you can do to keep your module secure, and by, by learning the techniques and the functions and the API calls uh, at the outset, before you get too involved in your module, that will pay off down the road. If you end up developing a, uh, a really complex module that's got a lot of code and you're not following these practices, going back and changing them later is going to be a huge pain and will usually result in a rewrite. So, um, so to save you time down the road, spend a little time now learning about security. So by the time you get done with this video, we'll, we'll have gone over the core elements um, necessary to keep your module secure. Um, of course, there will be a, a little bit here and there that we're not going to cover, but, but these are going to be the big items. So first of all, let's go ahead and start with a definition. Uh, what, how do we know when our module is secure? So I'm going to take a definition from a book called Cracking Drupal by Greg Kinnison. Uh It's an excellent book. Uh, I'll talk a little bit more about it later. But what he says is that a site is secure if private data is kept private, so uh, other people can't access data that, that they're not supposed to. The site can be forced offline or degraded uh, or into a degraded mode by a remote visitor. So um, that's something like a denial of service attack. So uh, when we hear about big big uh, company websites being taken down, that's what's, uh, that's what's happening there. Uh, the site resources are only used for their intended purposes. So people are not hot linking to images. And uh, they're not, you know, people aren't pulling, uh, using your site for stuff that they're not supposed to. Like you can, uh, like you might become a, a victim of a phishing attack that, that you don't want. To, uh, if that happens, that means your your site's not secure. For example, uh, and the site content can be edited only by appropriate users. So that's a user access thing. Um, you only want people to have access to the content that they should. So this is kind of a tall order, right? And, and when we're talking about a whole site, there's a lot of uh, elements that come into play. And it's not just Drupal, but it's also your Apache install, um, how you deal with your database. Thank you for watching this preview from buildamodule.com. On our website, we offer a number of free videos, as well as several others that are available for a reasonable price. Come check us out.